Okay, uh, first of all, I have a new phone, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, which so far it is, I have to say, fairly fantastic. Uh, uh, downside is uh, being on the cutting edge, there's no accessories. Uh, another downside is doing the video just now, I'm seeing that holding it as a normal distance, I am right up in the camera and holding it out there is kind of a pain. Um, so you'll have to deal with that until I get something else to hold it with. Uh, I'm able to hold the, the, put my thumbs on the screen uh, so that I don't block the camera or anything like that. So that's kind of handy. Uh, uh, but there's that. So I'll probably be playing with the phone and, and doing uh, hopefully more videos. And I hope it's a little clearer on this one since it's new. <clears throat> but the other, uh, I suppose the real reason I'm making this particular video is because I had another client, yet another client, ask me what I thought of Prometheus. I I, I don't do movie reviews or or uh, uh, television show reviews. I, I did Battlestar Galactica, and man, uh, because I didn't like it, I got a shit storm of complaints and thumbs down and I was evil because I didn't suck the cock of the director that uh, did the series. Well, here's another one I'm not sucking the cock of. It is not my favorite movie. It's not, it's, it's an okay movie. Prometheus is okay. And it's chalked Full of fucking plot holes. So my my the same problem I have with this with the Battlestar Galactica is essentially the same problem I have with Prometheus is the bullshit plot devices they use uh, to add humanness, humanist motivations. Uh, make it relatable, which really, in the end, makes it crap. The The cinematography was fantastic. The, uh, the colors, the textures, the feelings, that, that was all amazing, how they shot it. Uh, the aliens look pretty cool. Uh, the entire fucking premise was bullshit. But that aside, the big issues... Uh, were, uh, I suppose, obvious. I hope obvious to everyone. Uh, the first one, uh, I'm just going to go over two that kind of outline my issue with it. The main heroine was disturbed, troubled, you could see, because the, the robot, I don't think there's going to be any... There may be some spoilers, so... You get what you get. Uh, the robot, when she was in stasis, was reading her mind, which should be, uh, this is a pretty shaky, isn't it? Uh, was reading her mind, so it saw how she was interacting with her father and uh, children, things like that. It was kind of a precursor. And her husband was, husband, boyfriend, husband, I think it was husband, they were having an argument or she was upset and it comes out that she couldn't have children, which was one of her main motivations, why she was so, she felt so guilty because she wanted children and she couldn't have children. And that's what was her motivation her driving force to come see the creators. And she had this fucking cross and what, I don't know what the fuck that was about, but the whole premise or the idea that she couldn't have children pretty much ruined it for me from then on. All I could focus on was all the faults from then on. And, and I could, once you start focusing on the faults, that's all you see, because there's a lot of them. Uh, but the issue I have with that, the, the whole couldn't have children thing, is they were in some sort of cryogenic suspension for two years in an apparently faster-than-light starship going across the universe to discover, meet aliens from another planet that they thought had created. And all this, we can already clone people. 
we already have the ability uh, and have had the ability to make eggs, embryos from stem cells. We have that now. So in the 50 years, 100 years, whenever this was set, and they were on a faster than light starship, suddenly they lost the ability to have to uh, to fix someone that was barren or couldn't have children. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Uh, the second issue I had, and really from then on, it just collapsed upon itself. I still enjoyed it. I like the special effects, the, the, the spectacle of it. So don't get me wrong. I like the movie. It's just writers need to spend five more fucking minutes, just five, getting actual plot devices instead of bullshit of high school plots or emotions. That's, um, second issue, uh, the foreshadowing, which was to me so obvious, they spoon feed it to the audience. Uh, sh the heroine again discovered the medical device, the sort of, uh, uh, human sized cylinder, and she was poking around on it before the captain got there, and it said, uh, for males only, or when she was. I might be confusing these. I only saw it once. But at, at one point, she was trying to either use it or was looking at it and said, oh, this is incompatible with female anatomy. A medical machine put on a faster-than-light starship for some reason just can't handle a vagina. It can do everything else. It had all these gadgets and whiz-bang stuff. It seemed to lose its shit when there's a vagina present. Painfully stupid. Painfully stupid. It's kind of like if you were to go into a surgical room and get surgery and the doctor came up to you and went, Oh, you have a vagina. This operating room with all its scalpels and machinery and diagnostics. We can't do vaginas here. You, uh, you're SOL. <laughs> Sorry. Vagina. What are you gonna do? <sighs> Perhaps I'm overreacting. But I liked it. It was a nice spectacle. I, I'm so sick of science fiction writers falling short and using sophomoric junior high plot devices I want them to do better I, I, I do and I just I haven't seen it yet so I'm going to have to do uh, I, I suppose I don't do reviews much but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a a sideways thumb uh, I like the special effects and all that uh, story plot was shit. So I'm going to give it a sideways thumb. Uh, so I, I think that's all I have. It's really late and I'm really tired and I, I didn't plan on doing a video, but I also kind of wanted to test out the camera on the phone. And I promise I, I've got what's called the slingshot on the way, which is a, a holder. So I don't have to do shaky cam anymore because I'm sure that's going to make some of you nauseous. And I apologize uh, so uh, let me know what you think about the video quality and what you thought about Prometheus, if you've even got this far, because I'm tired and rambling. Uh, good night. Peace.